Luke John Harris through here. Welcome to episode 154 of the Daily Boo! Absolutely. Check this out. What a beautiful, beautiful view it is up here in sunny South Shields. And I want to crack on this morning about addictive personalities because a lot of us have them. And I too have one. Now, if we're relating this back to younger years, I had a lot of difficulty with um, weed and consistent abuse of alcohol on the weekend along with hard drugs. Now when I talk about addictive personalities it wasn't like we'll go out for a few drinks and get drunk. Yeah that happened regularly. But if you related back to drugs it was like there was one night where it was 9pm and I'd already had four ecstasy pills and I was on the phone to the dealer saying hey mate you got six more. And then so during that night we ended up having about 11 pills in one night. Now that's pretty extreme, that's daft. I could have died. I literally could have died. But that was the addictive personality that I had. And it was like, I couldn't just go out for like a pint. It had to be getting absolutely smashed. When I had a, a pizza, it had to be like pizza, milky bar, arrows, Maltesers, like a full thing that I was literally bloated and feel like I wanted to vomit. And I've still got that mechanism inside my head. You may know what I'm talking about. The thing is, we can't, we can't just relate this to food and drink. We can relate this to porn, which is an addiction for many of us. We can relate this to self-sabotage and lack of self-worth, addicted to not feeling good enough. Here's the thing, if you've got an addictive personality, don't be shy about it. Admit to yourself that you've got one. I do, I know that, after years of experience of being in, you know, a craving stuff. Like I get I get a scent of something, like a sniffer dog and I'm all over it. I'm like, I want more, I want more, I want more. Thing is now, I learned to use that for me. I'll always have an addictive personality. I'll always be one of the, I was one of these guys as well. As, as a teenager, I would spend 10 hours, 11 hours locked in my room on the computer, staring, just playing N64, PlayStation, stuff like that. And it's, it's one of those things that could be used against you or for you because my addictive personality now is taken up by exercise and eating right. I'm addicted to feeling good. That's a good thing and you can do that too. You, you do, you're probably confused as to why you make the wrong choices but consider that you're addicted to feeling worthless. A past influence has probably told you that a relationship, parenting, whatever, and you believe you're not worth it. You can use that addictive personality for you. I'm addicted to exercise now because I know that if I don't get up and do this, I am much more likely to make worse food choices. If I stay a long time where I don't eat right and I don't exercise, I am much more likely to delve back into sedative activities rather than releasing activities. Activities that fry my brain, that distract me from the reality. Whereas the releasing things give you the release to remind you that you're worth it. Because addictive personalities can be a great thing when you use them for you. And people say, if you're one of these people who loves exercise, you're addicted, don't do too much mind, and they criticize it. Whereas if you're out drinking every weekend, people rarely say, don't do too much mind. They might give you the odd bit of, you know, um, don't drink too much mind, but really, they are likely to do the same things or similar things. So consider this addictive personality trait. Is it serving you in what you are being addicted to? Or is it hindering you? Is it stopping you, preventing you from moving forward? First step, admit you've got one. Second step, try and channel that energy into something else. You do this by trying things that you might enjoy. Not that you won't because of some bullshit story you've told you like, I can't do that because that's bullshit you can try. You can always try. What's it Yoda says? Do or do not, there is no try. Could be something worth considering. You can do something with that addictive personality. You can use it for you. Just think how good it would be to feel addicted to exercise and addicted to feeling good. Think about how that would be. Because that wasn't me years ago. I was addicted to craving drugs and porn and all the rest. And now it changed. It's a much better place on the light side. And you get called boring when you don't go out on a weekend. You get called boring when you make better food choices. You get called weird because you're in the minority. 
But the fact is, people always call you these things when they're doing sedative activities like eating a lot of shit or drinking a lot of alcohol because basically, deep down, they feel bad about it. And so they feel better about themselves when you make the choices that they do because deep down, if you're making the choice that they can't, you make them feel insecure. So just consider that. And share this video for anybody that needs to hear these words. Peace out, my friends. Have a great, great Saturday.